Today, I'm going to show you how you can generate attendance directly from Google Meet. What's up everyone? This is Sir Z, a grade school teacher by profession and on the side, filmmaking is my passion. Since uh, school year is just around the corner, today's video is all about teacher technology and I'm featuring Google Meet and a Chrome extension that I will discuss to you as we move along in this video. But before we continue, please do leave a like for this video and consider subscribing to get more ideas that I will do my best to come up with in the near future. Well, on its own, Google Meet doesn't have yet that feature that take attendance from our Google Meeting. That's why it's nice thing to know that there are Google Chrome um, extensions and add-ons available online that can give us that feature, enhancing our Google Meet experience and making our Google Meetings more efficient. Especially if we're using Google Meet on a regular basis, like for us teachers, we are doing daily online classes. So this is important. All we got to do is open a Google Meet, get all the participants involved, and hit a button that will generate automatically the attendance. So let's go ahead and check out our laptop. The extension that I'm talking about is called Google Meet Attendance, simply called Meet Attendance. It was created by Clay Smith, as you can see on the screen, and it says here at the right side on his Twitter page, that Clay's made as a former talent agent turned tech educator and he started claycodes.org. Let's take a visit. This is Clay Codes page and let's go to bio just to give you a background or an overview why I choose this extension. It says here, what better way to improve efficiency than to implement digital automated solutions. So quote unquote, digital automated solutions. That's the reason why I'm recommending this because once you installed this extension, all you gotta do is click on a button and it will generate automatically a Google Sheet containing all the participants' names in your Google Meeting. I'll show you that later on. So by the way, on the uh, description box of this video, I have included a link that once you click on, it will take you to this page. Like I said a while ago, we are going to call this Meet Attendance. Uh, the icon for this one is a red apple with a gray check mark over it. So make sure that it is offered by claycodes.org. And I haven't said it yet, but I am saying it right now. It's free. It's very good. I love this. I, I, I already tested it. I already tried it. And I love it. In order for you to install this, all you gotta do is click on this blue button here. Right now, it says on my screen, remove from Chrome. That's because I already have it. So on your end, if it's your first time, you will have something different like install or add or just, just go ahead and click. You will not be sorry that you're adding this to your Google Meet. Okay, I just changed to a halo pointer so that you will be able to follow my mouse pointer. So when I added meet attendance to my browser, it actually went here. Okay, can you see this one? Right now, it's a grayed out icon, but that's because we're not using it yet. But once we open up Google Meet, it will automatically activate and it will work on your Google Meet automatically. But just in case you're not seeing it here but and you already added it, all you gotta do is click on this button that looks like a push pin that when you hover your mouse on it, it says extension. Once you click on it, just look for meet attendance and then click pin so that it will stick on this part of your browser. So let's go ahead and try this, okay? I'm going to open up Google Meet. There are three ways to access Google Meet and um, I'm gonna create another video for that one. But for the meantime, my favorite way of going there is by clicking on the waffle icon. This is the waffle icon. Not all knows that it's a waffle icon. It looks like a waffle if you know what that looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna click on waffle icon which is for the Google Apps and then let's open up or access Meet. There you go. Did you notice that the grade icon of Meet attendance before was grayed out but now it's already colored. Okay, here, this one. So that means it's already activated because we are starting a Google Meet. So let's, since I'm the one who's starting a Meet, I'm going to click on Start a Meeting. And then let's type in a sample title. Let's say uh, Meet Attendance Test. And I'm going to hit Continue. There you go. So right now, I am now on the screen. But since I already have a uh, small 
display of myself on the uh, lower right corner of this uh, of this screen that you're seeing right now I'm just gonna turn off the video and also another thing that you need to do whenever you are attending or participating an online meeting is that you turn off your microphone before you join okay let's hit join now you're already familiar with this one these are the details for the meeting but that's a different story that's a different topic let's just close that one all right so if you're gonna go here you're already familiar with this part this is the uh, chat box where is meet attendance meet attendance is of course connected to the list of participants so you will see it here show everyone and there you go did you notice something different from my google meet screen compared to your google meet screen i have an extra icon this one it says here that i only have one participant of course obviously that's me so how are we going to generate attendance automatically from our google meet like i said when we started just need to click a button and it will automatically generate a google sheet for us containing all the participants name so we're gonna do that right now and there you go with just a click of a button we now have a printable Google sheet containing all the names of our participants in this particular meeting right now of course it's only me because if we're gonna go back to my Google meet I'm the only person that is in this meeting so going back to Google sheet I'm the only one that is on this page of course if you want to print this you know the drill you just go to file look for print down there or you can also do a shortcut by clicking on this button or icon that says print control plus p by the way the first time i used this i got confused because i have it showing at the upper right corner of my screen and it's activated but when i open up people it's not showing this button so i did some research and it turns out that just like any other programs or gadgets that are not working properly at the start you just need to reload the page so you all you gotta do is click on this button here at the upper left corner which says reload this page once you click on that one it will kick you out from the meeting <laughs> but since the meeting is active you just need to click on that green button that says join back in or join in go back to this list of attendants or participants and by then this button should show up so that everyone is how we can generate automatically and directly from Google Meet a list of our participants in a Google meeting or from a Google meeting. So a special thanks to Clay Smith who created this one and it's for free. If this video was able to provide some good tips or it helped you in a way, even in a little way, I appreciate it if you leave a like for this video and consider subscribing so that I'll be able to continue operating this channel together with my wife who's doing her part for her friends and families and i'll see you soon in the next videos so god bless stay safe i love you all